Talk about an unboxing. I didn't know it was gonna come on a pallet when I ordered it. Well, let's get started. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a fun unboxing right here, I'll tell you what. I don't even think I gotta cut the top. I think we just gotta lift it up and over, but I still cut it a little bit. Just out of the principality. a lot of stuff to pull apart and try to figure out what we're doing. I think the best bet is to go with the good old fashioned time lapse again. Gets the point across and it gets it done fast. This is gonna take us a good hot minute to get done. So, kill the time lapse, Brando, let's go.
Brandon with the time lapse jumping out. I went ahead and built this earlier. I'm having to finish it up for me. All right, I'm just getting heated all the way. All right, shot to Brandon. It ain't done yet, though. We're almost done. So let's go check out this here. All right, so it took Brandon about five hours to get that done and uh, did a good job. Thanks, Brandon. Appreciate that. Uh, supposedly, this thing is supposed to work so good, I should be able to run both of my CNC machines at the same time with it instead of running two dust collectors. I've got another one on the other side over there. Actually, I have three. There's my first one. It runs my panel saw. And then I got old Trusty right here. It's my 1.5 horsepower jet. As you can see, it's disconnected because... We just use the main big one for everything. Damn. Look at that. All right, so this thing is ran out of the port, up over the top of the ceiling, across the top, down to CNC number one. It continues on. There's over to CNC number two. We got gates in case I want more suction on one than the other. Also added a T right above each CNC machine for when I need vacuum line nearby or we need to clean up behind it. Get this bad boy right here. There's a T right behind the television there. It's right there. And there's another key over here. And of course, we got another little CNC clean up hose over on this side. Ready to go at all times. Of course, I got a gate on that too so I can shut it off. So we did a couple little something special while we are doing this. And yes, for all the dust collector experts out there watching this, I already know that the tubing with the ribs in it is not the greatest for this job. I know that it's not as efficient as a straight tube, and I'm going to end up using straight ABS tubing or something like that. In time, I plan on adding straight tubing going to everything. I just want to make sure the configuration and everything is working properly, and then I'll upgrade it and make it better. But for right now, I needed to get dust out of the machine and into the bag. That's the main thing. So the only flex line I'm going to end up with is going to be the vacuum tubing and the flex line going from up top to the machine itself. The rest will be hard lined real soon. Let's test it out. We got the remote. Hey, so that's pretty much it. I know this video sucks, but uh, that's the way it goes, man. Brand new dust collector, 
Brand new CNC machine by Laguna over here. I can't wait to get started I've on it. I've actually been on CAD learning how to draw on it. I have to start from scratch because I don't know how to do any of the stuff on that program. I know how to do everything on the blue machine, just not on that program yet. So I'm trying to learn it. This thing will be up and running. Actually, it already is up and running real soon. Um, I'm just practicing right now, making sure all my parts are gonna work before I can actually run them. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna show you guys more about this machine next chance I get. But for right now, it's Memorial Day weekend and I had a long day and I'm out of here.